Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. second grade welcome back to another great day of learning I have another book to share with you this is a book called happy endings a story about suffixes now we've learned some already we've already learned that ing and ing means it's happening now we've already learned the ed and that the ed means it happened in the past. And next week, as a sneak peek, next week we're gonna be learning more suffixes. So this is a great book to read all about all the different suffixes and what it means. So another great book to try to see if you can find on Sora or check it out at your county library. My name is Mrs. Fang, and I'm so excited to have you join me so that we can learn our letters and our sounds so that we can become amazing readers and writers. Good job, boys and girls. So let's get started. We need to make our brain smarter and stronger. So we'll start with our high-frequency words. Remember, high-frequency words are words that we see most frequently when we are reading and writing. And it's important to know these words automatically so that you don't have to spend all that time trying to sound out these words and you can save all that brain muscle for the longer words. So I have two words for us to learn today. Are you ready? Awesome. My first word is the word, and remember, when we learn these boys, words, boys and girls, I want you to help me read and spell them. The first word is a longer word, but remember, the more we read and spell them and write them, the more our brain will remember it. Ready? The first word is straight. Help me read it. Straight. Good job. Help me spell it. S T R A I G H T. Straight. Good job, boys and girls. My next word is under. Help me spell. Uh, help me read it. Under. Help me spell it. U N D E R. Under. And you're right, if you were watching Ms. Hammock this morning, this was another, this was a high frequency word in first grade. So it's important to know these by now in third, I mean second grade, so that you don't have to learn it again and you'll know automatically in third grade. So our two words today, under and straight. So I have two sentences for us. I want you to help me try to figure out which one of these words will go into my sentence so that it will make sense. Are you ready? Awesome, help me read the first sentence. Ready. My first sentence says, make the line m. Mm. Help me read the second sentence. The bug ran m mm, the rug. Good, are you using your context clues to help you? Ma make the line, what word did you think would go in there? Say it. Oh, I think I hear you. Make the line straight. Good job, thumbs up if you got it. Awesome job, boys and girls. That must mean under goes with the second sentence. Let's read to make sure it makes sense, ready? The bug ran under the rug. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Good job, boys and girls. Now let's practice reading our high frequency words that we have learned. We'll start with the words that we learned this week, ready? Oh, the words that we learned today. Ready? Straight, under, almost, by, food, out, pool, saw, sky, and wash. Good job, boys and girls. Good job with that reading. So now let's go and train our ears. That's right. Get your listening ears turned up because I have a fun game for us. We have a, a game called What's My New Word? Now remember, we played this already. This is a game where I'm gonna say some sounds, we're gonna blend it, we're gonna say a word, and then I'm gonna change the beginning sound and you will blend it again to say my new word. Are you ready? Awesome. Okay, 
What's this word? Listen to my sounds. A s, blend it. Ace, what is it? Face. Good job. Now, what if I change that to a r? Now it becomes r. Ace. Race. Good job, boys and girls. Race. That's my new word. Now, how about these set of sounds? What's my word? Ready? N. A. Oops, wrong color. N. A. J. N. A. J. What's my word? Nudge. Good job. Nudge. Now, what if I change it to the b to, I'm sorry, the n to a b. What's my new word? B. Udge. Budge. Good job. My new word is budge. Okay, you guys are getting really good. Okay, last one. Ready? What if I said these sounds? What's my word? D. Ah. J. D. Aj. What is it? Dodge. Good. Now, what if I change that d to a l? What's my new word now? L. Aj. Lodge. Good job, boys and girls. Good job training your ears. Now, let's go and practice our focus sound of the week. Now, remember, we have been learning our soft C and our soft G sound. And we call them a soft C because they make the S sound like the sun card, right? C-E, C-I, and C-Y makes the S sound, like the sun card. Now, and we call it the soft G because the G-E, G-I, and G-Y, and D-G-E all make the j sound like the jump card. Don't get confused just because you see a C whenever there's an E, an I, or a Y in front of the C or the G, it makes the soft sound. And remember that chant? You can use this chant to help you. We say soft C, soft G, give it a try. C, E, C, I, and C, Y. What do they say? Good job. G E G I G Y. What did they say? J. And don't forget that D G E. All those letter makes one sound. J. So now I have some letters for us. Help me blend my letters together. Ready? This says, and do you see that E at the end? Remember that it's gonna make the I say I. So help me blend it. And you do you see the C E? It's gonna make the S sound. So let's blend the, uh, these letters. Ready? Ice. Ice. What's my word? Ice. Good job. Ice. Now, what if I added another letter? What if I added the M, the M? Now it becomes mice. Good job. And you're right, these are our spelling patterns. Now, what if I add the R to it. Now it becomes rice. Good job. And if you can spell rice, guess what? I'm going to add the D and that's going to become dice. But I'm going to make it a little bit harder. We're going to add in some blends. So if I put the SL, it becomes slice. Good. And the PR becomes price. Good job, boys and girls. Those are our spelling patterns. Now let's go and read a story. We have a story this week. We're going to read a story called Bryce in Space. And before we read, we're going to focus on our fluency. Now remember, we've been working with expression and today we're going to be also working with expression, but it's what we call phrasing. And phrasing is when you group words together when you are reading. And as you're reading, remember your voice is going to either pause, it's going to rise up, or it's going to rise down depending on how you are reading. Just like when we talk, right? We don't sound like a robot when we're talking. So when we read, we should sound like we are, we are talking. And don't forget to pay attention to those punctuation. That's going to be a clue for you to either pause, which is you're going to see a comma. A period means we're going to stop a little bit. A question mark is going to make our voice goes up. 
and an exclamation, we're gonna have feelings in our voice. Okay, so we're gonna be working with our expression as we are reading. Are you ready? And this story has our soft C and our soft G. So help me read this story, ready? This is a story called Bryce in Space. Bryce can go to space. I will take a trip to space, he said. I will step in space. I can take some large mice in a cage. That is good, said Miss Price. But you will have to work. There will be a race to space. Bryce grinned. I will do it. I will go in space. I will step in space. How did you do? Good job, boys and girls. Now, let's quickly look for some of those soft C and soft G words. Lots of soft C, you're right. Like Bryce and space and, open oh, here, space again, and mice. Lots of them, can you find more? Awesome. There's a few soft G, right, that says G, that, I'm sorry, that says j, like large, right? Good job, boys and girls. So, tonight, write about a place that you want to explore. Now, let's go into our prefixes. Prefixes are added to the beginning of a word to change its meaning. And this week, we were working on re, which means again, un means not, dis means the not or the opposite. So if I had the word unkind, and remember boys and girls, learning these prefixes will help you learn how to learn how to read and know what the meaning of the word is in the sentence. So if I have the word unkind, I can say, oh, he was unkind or he was, what does un mean? Not, we can say he was not kind. You're right, that's what unkind mean. Or if you want to write, something that says you're going to redo, right? We know that re means again. So this is gonna help if your teacher says, I need you to redo your project. She's telling you to do what? She's telling you to do it again. You see how knowing prefix will help you make meanings of words, boys and girls? So we're gonna continue to learn more about prefixes um, for tomorrow, so don't forget to come back. And boys and girls, remember, when something gets hard, what do we say? We just say, I can do it. We can say, I am smart. And we say, I am awesome. Because remember, the more you learn, the more we make our brains stronger and smarter. I hope you have a great day learning with your teacher today, and don't forget to come back tomorrow to our PBS classroom. Bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.